in terms of the actual circumstances um, that came up, one of the interesting things that came up was that um, the majority of those incidents uh, were reportedly um, not witnessed by staff members. A substantial portion of those incidents occurred uh, during the evening hours and, uh, and at night as well, close to 60% combined, as well as a um, substantial portion occurred during the weekends. Now we all know uh, what should happen during uh, evening hours and weekends, uh, and that is uh, we would like to see uh, a, a strengthening the staffing levels during the evening hours. We would like to see uh, additional uh, presence of managers uh, on the floor to provide the guidance and supervision uh, for direct care staff members. And we would like to see uh, a, a more robust, meaningful engagement program during the evening hours. Uh, because when that's one of the secrets about this phenomena is that when you engage residents with dementia in a meaningful way, in a personally meaningful way, uh, you will see substantial reduction in those incidents. Yeah. Close to half of the incidents uh, occurred, or 40-40 percent or so, occurred between roommates. Uh, and um, I think that it's important to remember that the majority of residents with dementia never chose to live in a nursing home. Uh, that's number one. Second of all, the nursing home uh, is their home for all practical purposes. And third, their bedroom is their last frontier of privacy. Uh, unfortunately, we still see a large number of nursing homes where you have two uh, or three or four residents, uh, some of them with dementia or serious mental illness, uh, living, sharing a small uh, space these individuals may have not shared a space with a stranger uh, uh, perhaps for 70 years since college, if at all. And yes, some roommates could get along and there's a, you know, there could be a sense of companionship and support and that's good. But some of those cases that are examined, uh, those residents uh, were considered as best friends. Um, but we have to remember that dementia is progressive and even a friend may reach a breaking point. Uh, and all you need is uh, one push. My hope is that this study will encourage other researchers to examine this phenomena. And most importantly, my hope is that uh, the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, uh, as well as the CDC, uh, Centers for uh, Disease Prevention, Division for Violence Prevention, the US uh, uh, Office of Inspector General, as well as the General Accounting Office, uh, will conduct the first ever uh, national investigation of those injurious and fatal resident to resident incidents in nursing homes as well as assisted living residences uh, in this country. Um, the fact that we are not uh, capturing and tracking this phenomena as we speak uh, represents a major missed opportunity for learning and for prevention of these incidents and uh, developing strategies to ensure that frail and vulnerable residents will remain safe and free from psychological harm in the last years of their lives.